What would you do if the worst happened to someone you love? What if your own child was seriously injured in an accident? Would you race to their side? Would you offer to donate blood if needed? Make sure the emergency services and hospital know exactly what medications they were allergic to? Would you do anything in the world you could do to help? Of course you would. But what if you didn't have the chance? What if you didn't even know it happened? Unfortunately, people in emergency healthcare will tell you the vital information about the casualty isn't always readily available. And what's worse is some patients pay the price for their lives. But this can be avoided. Let's take a look at how one of these stories could play out. Meet Jane. I wonder where Timmy is. I haven't seen him for hours. I'm starting to get worried. If Jane had signed up for the free emergency identity service at mypd.com and doctors found Timmy's identifiers on his helmet, bike, shoe label, wallet card, etc., the doctors would have known who he was and who to call. But this didn't happen. You see, hours earlier, Timmy had taken a nasty fall off his bicycle while riding himself. He lay unconscious and bleeding until a jogger found him. When emergency services arrived on the scene, they had no idea who he was or where he lived. That night, Timmy spent alone in the hospital unconscious, without any family or anyone who even knew who he was. He remained unconscious and unidentified when doctors began him on a course of penicillin. They didn't know he was allergic to penicillin. Had Jane taken five minutes to sign up to this free, in case of emergency identity service, mypd.com, this could have been avoided. With his ID stickers and tags, they would have known who to call to find out his allergies, his family phone numbers, his name. There is no catch, no fees and no reason not to be connected in case of an emergency. For your family, join up today.